Hallelujah. It's a joy again for us to share the Lord's table. As I've always said in this broadcast, it is not my table, but the Lord's table. And because it is the Lord's table, you are entitled to sit. Because a table has been prepared for you and I. As my son will preach, he said, Jesus has said, table for two. When a table is set for two of you, you and your husband or you and your friend, when you are at table, you don't look here and there. You look straight to the eyes of the person that has invited you to the table. That is what we are doing today. I am inviting you to the table of the Lord. And I want you to sit down and look straight to Jesus' eyes. Because he is inviting you to the table. And I said here before that having Holy Communion is a commandment. It is a command from God. It is a rule for, from God for us to celebrate with him, to celebrate him, and to celebrate one another. I am glad today that another opportunity has come for us to sit down on the table with Jesus himself, Jesus himself that died at the cross of Calvary, Jesus himself that poured his blood out for you and I, for the remission of sin, for the remission of anything that is contrary to our lives. Jesus poured his blood, poured his life, for us all. That is the joy of Holy Communion, that you are attesting to the fact that Jesus himself poured his life out, poured his blood out for you and I, for the remission of our sin. If we had our sin on the inside of us or in us up to tomorrow, then there will have been no reason for him to die. But while we were yet sinners, oh, I love this. While we were yet sinners, he made his choice to come and die for you and I. While we were doing our own things, while we were wallowing in sin, he made a determination to the Father and said, Father, I will go for you. I will go and reconcile man back to you. That is the essence of the Holy Communion. For you to celebrate, to say, Father, I thank you for dying for me at the cross of, of Calvary. The Bible said in John 1, 14, it says here, and the world became flesh and dwelt amongst us and we have seen his glory. The glory as the only begotten son from the father of grace and truth. Let me read it again for you. He said, and the word, the word of God, this word became flesh. You know, the Bible said the word of God is Christ. And for Christ to have come to dwell amongst us, he has to become flesh. And so the Bible says here, and the word of God became flesh, 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 and came amongst us. Because we needed to see his glory. And because he became flesh, he was able to die at the cross of Calvary for you and I. Today we celebrate. Today we rejoice. Today we see that Christ has been revealed on the inside of us 
to our world. And this gives you an opportunity. If you have never given your life to Christ before, this is an opportunity for you. I've just said Christ died. He came. He took away your sin. He took away your diseases. He took away everything. The contrary thing that were written against you on the wall. He took all away and set you free. That's all you need. All you need to say is, Father, I thank you that you died at the cross of Calvary for me. I thank you. You took away my sin. You took away my, my sicknesses. You took away my sorrow. You took away my grief. You took away everything that was against me, and you gave me your life. That doesn't mean that because we have given our lives to Christ, we don't pass through challenges. Yes, we do. But when we pass through challenges, deep down the inside of us, we know that there is a Father, there is a God, there is Jesus Christ, there is the Holy Spirit that is on the inside of us that gives us comfort. And that is what Christ came to do for us at the cross of Calvary. And he said before he left in Luke 22, 19, at the bottom of that verse 19, he called them together and he blessed them. And the Bible said he gave thanks and did others. And he said, do this in remembrance of me. So we are doing this. It's a celebration. It's for us to rejoice, is for us to eat his body, is for us to drink his blood, but more importantly, he said, do this in remembrance of me. So we are doing this in remembrance of what Jesus did. Hallelujah. Me, I can talk for a whole day. If I want to remember that which Jesus did for me at the cross of Calvary, I guess it's the same thing with you. Because a lot of things that he did at the cross of Calvary for you and for me, we cannot quantify it because of what he did for us at the cross of Calvary. He died at the cross of Calvary. He bled and died. He took away our sins. He took away our sorrows. He took away our sicknesses. He took away, Isaiah says, by his stripes, we were healed. We were healed. In other words, healing came before disease. Can you fathom that? By my stripes, ye were healed. I think where is, is past tense. If we were healed and sickness is here now, we have every right to say, Father, by your stripes, we were healed. You know, healing is the children's bread. Hallelujah. Healing is the children's bread. And every child of God has the right to tap at the healing of God. And he will not deny you. That is why we are taking this Holy Communion. The Bible said, And when he has gathered his own together, he took bread and took wine and blessed it and said, hey, take, eat. It's, it, it baffles my imagination that the bread that is just ordinary bread, just this one, and then the wine, the fruit wine, the fruit juice, you know, it is just Symbols, these are symbols. But when you take them in faith and you believe that you are taking these symbols, when it gets to the inside of you, 
it becomes that which God has made it to be. Hallelujah. So, I want you to get your bread, get your wine, your fruit wine, get your oil, call your family, call your wife, your children, your house help. Let them sit down with you and let's take this Holy Communion together. It is for you, it is for me. It is for your husband, your wife, your children. Get them all together. You know, it is the Lord's table, not mine. It is the Lord's table. That is why everyone has the right to participate. If you have given your life to Christ. And if you have not, this is an opportunity for you to say, Father, I don't know uh, about it, but I want to believe you for myself. I want to believe you because you are the God that they are talking about. I believe that Jesus came. He died at the cross of Calvary for me and for everyone. Father, I believe you. I believe your word. I believe that when you died, I died. When you were buried, I was buried. When you rose from the grave, I also rose with you. And when you say that, Father, I thank you. My sins are gone. My sins are washed away. I am I'm saved. I believe you. I am free because you have made me free. You have set me free because my sins are no longer there. Hallelujah. That's all you need. And if you are saved, glory be to God. Celebrate with us because it is a time of celebration for the table that have been set for you and I. The Bible said here in Luke 22, Verse 19, it says here, and he took the bread. This is the bread. The Bible said bread. That's why I believe and I will use bread, not biscuits. And he took the bread and gave thanks and broke it. This is the bread. Father, I give you thanks. I give you praise. I give you all because this is another opportunity for us to partake in the Holy Communion. This is bread. We are thanking you. As we take it, O oh God, it shall be healing. It shall be food. It shall, it shall be all that we need from you. That is it, O oh God. And I thank you for this bread. As we partake of it, you said here, and he took the bread, and he gave thanks, and broke it, and gave unto them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you, and do this in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. We are doing this today again. One to do it as a remembrance of what Jesus did for us at the cross of Calvary. Two, we are taking it, we are celebrating because we are no longer in sin. He has taken away our sin and he has given us the joy of life. He said, do this in remembrance of me. Then verse 20 says, and likewise also the cup after supper saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. He took the cup. He took it and said, hey, this is the New Testament in my blood, which is shared for you. Hallelujah. This is the cup. He gave thanks as well. Father, we thank you for this cup of blessing. It is a cup of blessing. Lord, we are blessed because 
We are, we are taking this. We are blessed today, oh God, because it's an opportunity for us. Your word declares the cup of blessing. If you call this the cup of blessing, the enemy cannot call it the cup of sorrow, the cup of lamentation. It is the cup of blessing. So are you ready to take the bread, the meal that heals? He said, I'm going to cut it. This is the bread. And I have some ministers with me here. They are all sitting around, and I'm going to take mine. The Bible said, and he took the bread and gave thanks. We have given thanks, O God. I have given it to them, and he said, take, eat ye all of it. Hallelujah. Mm. Be in the mood of prayers, and I want you to focus your attention on the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want you to ask him whatever you need because the table is set. The table is set before you right now. It is you and Jesus on the table. Focus your attention on him straight. Look at his eyes and say, Jesus, this is what I want. I want healing on my head. I want healing on my chest. I want healing on my stomach. I want healing on my back. I want healing on my legs because by your stripes, the word of God said, I am healed. And so I'm focusing my attention to you right now, Jesus. I lift my hands before you. I ask that you by yourself, Give me a touch that makes a difference. In the name of Jesus, healing is from you. I tap at it. Your word declares that healing is the children's bread. And as your child, I have every right. It is my creative right. It is my redemptive right. It is my covenant right. So I tap at it and I receive healing from you right now into my body in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said in that same vein, he took the cup. He took the cup. And he gave thanks. Father, as we drink your blood, I ask, oh God, that it will perform miracles on the inside of us. I decree and I declare it so in the name of Jesus. He took. And for the ministers around me, drink ye all of it. Now that you have taken the bread and the wine that are just symbols, you have taken them in and you are thanking God for an opportunity again. You are focusing your attention on him because he is for you. I want you to bow your heads and I want to command the blessing of Holy Communion on you. Our God and our Father, we want to thank you for this day that has come to pass. We want to thank you, O oh God, for this Holy Communion that we have taken. You said, do this in remembrance of me. Remember you for what? For the suffering that you did for us. Remember you, oh God, about the sin that you took away from us. We remember, oh God, how 39 lashes were given unto you. 
No wonder the Bible said, Isaiah said, by my stripes, ye were healed. Father, we remember those stripes today. And I decree and I declare from the head to the souls of everyone that has partaken of this Holy Communion. If there was disease in their body, if there was pain in their body, if there was malady in them, I decree and I declare that what you did at the cross of Calvary becomes, oh God, relevant in their life right now. Their healing, oh God, is now. I decree and I declare it so. Pain on the head, I decree every pain, every headache, every tumor by the authority vested on me. I decree every tumor gone. Pain in the head gone. Pain in the eyes, in the nose, wherever you are, in the mouth, in your neck, in your throat, and on your breast, on your chest, I decree and I declare, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed. I decree it so because the word of God says so. And I thank you, everlasting Father, for healing everyone in the name of Jesus. Pain in the stomach, pain at the waist, pain at the back, on the leg, on the toe. Wherever there is pain in your body, I decree the power of God upon you right now. Be healed. Be healed of the headache. Be healed of any malady. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Because your word declares it so. We believe it and it shall be as we have said it. Thank you, Father, for healing us right now. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now take your oil. The Bible said when David was anointed as king, even though he was young, the Bible said, as soon as the oil came upon him, he became another man. Ooh, glory to God. We anoint our heads, O oh God. Put your hand on your oil and anoint your head. And tell God what you want for this month of April. Tell God what you want. Father, anoint my head with this oil. I decree and I declare that every attack of the evil one shall flee from me. The sicknesses and the diseases in April, they shall not come nigh me. They shall not come nigh my children. They shall not come nigh my grandchildren. They cannot come nigh my great-grandchildren. I see them coming. Hallelujah. It shall not come nigh my home. Anoint yourself and tell God what you want. Anointing that breaks every yoke. Every yoke is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke is broken. Anointing is for movement. Anointing is for healing. Anointing is for signs and wonders. This month, you will do signs and wonders. I decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will shine. You will continue to shine because oil has been upon your head. I decree and I declare it upon you in the name of Jesus. Friends, I want you to rejoice that you are alive for an opportunity like this. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. An opportunity has come for us to celebrate 
and to be in, in that which God has commanded for us to do. I decree peace in your home. April, month of peace, month of declaration, month of publishing the word of God. I decree it upon you that you will publish the word of God everywhere you go. Your hands are blessed. Your head is blessed because you have taken the cup of blessing. The blessings of this month shall go with you. It shall be upon your life, your home, in your rising up and in your lying down. In your waking up, the blessings of God shall overtake you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to believe God for this month. Whatever you need, it shall come to you. I decree and I declare it upon you in the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I have good news for everyone. I have good news for you. What is the good news? Many people have called me and said, ah, Archbishop Margaret, how come we are not on uh, satellite? How come we are not on TV? How come we are not this, we are not, we are not that? But at God's own time, you know, the worldly adage says, God's time is the best. At God's own time, nothing shall by any means stop it. I believe this is God's timing. Guess what? We are now on satellite TV. Free to air, but it's not free. It's free to air. You can view it free, but it's not free under. But anyhow, we can take care of that. God can take care of that through you and me. But I just have this to let you know that we are now on satellite TV. Where you can get us is my TV, free to air, 24 hours. I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I'm excited because it's one of the dreams of the Archbishop, Archbishop Benson Idahosa, before he left. He said, Margaret, one day we will own our own TV. One day we will broadcast on TV 24 hours. 24 years after his departure, we are now on TV 24 hours. I want to let you know that it's celebration for us. It's good news for us and good news for CGMI and all our friends out there that has been asking us. You can sit down now and watch 24 hours. If you want to be watching the Archbishop Benson in the house and messages 24 hours, you can sit down and watch. You want to know what we are doing? Hey, this is the time for you to sit down and watch what we are doing. You want to know what we are doing since Archbishop in the house left for 24 years? This is the time. You sit down and watch. Watch us at BGC, Balm of Gilead City. Watch us at the university, BIU University. Watch us at Faith Mediplex in New York, in Benin, and in Abuja. Watch us all, all of us at the churches in different places and also in diaspora. Watch us, watch the children, watch the schools. My goodness, there is so much to tell you. I want you to be excited. Please go to my TV, free to air, and sit down and watch what CGMI is all about. CGMI is no longer where we used to be. God has taken us higher. This is the good news I brought to you. Rejoice with us. If you want to be a part of it, we are raising partners. You want to be a part of it, give us a call and you will see the numbers to call on your screen. 
please do do so and the lord god will bless you in the name of jesus christ thank you once again hallelujah amen Get the glory out of my story. You are victorious. The battle's already won. You will get the glory out of my story. You are victorious. The battle's already won. about your grace and your beautiful love it's calming so sweet like it's serenading the seas in and out of season i'm summarizing like the sun in the east the word will never leave and lead me to you the truth what can i do without you nothing i need the king who surpasses all of my expectations and in your arms i'm patiently waiting like a patient i need your medication now who was like thee no one can undo that which you did for me light speed faster than that if you ever did come for me that's how you comfort me You are more than the air that I need to breathe The God Father, my Elohim Never wake me up from this beautiful dream Blood covered, I've never you been this clean glory. Now the angels sing, flesh in my wounds, reminiscing. I see the sin try to settle in. With my eyes on the cross, you forgive again. Many men fell away and end far away, but you leave the 99 for the one you meant. Intentional love for the one you meant to save. Now I'm staring at him. Get the glory out of